Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we have covered two different instruction types of the data transfer group. In this session, we are going to learn about the data transfer group of instruction types MOVR, M and MOVM, R. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session, today we will first learn about the instruction type MOVR, M and thereafter we will learn about the instruction type MOVM, R. So let's begin with the first type. Now coming to the instruction type MOVR, M, in the previous session itself we have seen the mnemonic MOV stands for move. Now coming to today's instruction type, MOVR, M, it actually means the microprocessor is supposed to load a register with the 8-bit value in the memory location. That is, there is some 8-bit value which is in the memory location and a specific register which will be specified by this R, we are supposed to load that 8-bit value from the memory location into that register. Now coming to the registers, we already know these are the registers that we have got and these will be loaded. Now, what about the memory location? As you can notice, within the memory, there are so many locations, right? So which specific memory location are we talking about? Well, for this, we will be using the HL pair. That is, say, we would like to access the memory location F821. For that, in the HL pair, at first we will have to load the value F821. That is, the H register will have the higher order address F8 and the L register will have the lower order address that is 21. So cumulatively, the entire register pair is working as a storage space of 16-bit. Now once this data inside the HL pair has been loaded, the microprocessor will know that we are pointing to the memory location F821. Now let's assume within the location F821, we have got the value EA. Now this is an 8-bit value because as you can see, it is a two-digit hexadecimal value, right? So clearly, 8 bits. Now if we would like to move this data from this memory location into the register A, that is the accumulator, the instruction MOVA, M will have to be executed by the microprocessor. Remember, anything after the comma is the source and anything before the comma, that is this register in this case A, is the destination. So once this is executed, the data, that is EA, will be moved to the accumulator register. Now did you notice something very interesting? We used the instruction MOVA, M. But in this entire instruction, did we ever use anything that would indicate the HL pair? Well, we didn't. And this is called register indirect addressing. Using the alphabet M within a particular instruction specifies the indirect reference to the HL pair. So this is how, from a particular memory location, any of these registers can be loaded with the data within it using the instruction MOVR, M. Now this entire instruction falls into the one byte long category. And notice, we have got R in here. So this is a type. And how many instructions will be there for this particular type? Well, seven, right? Because MOVA, M, MOVB, M, till MOVL, M, all these will be different instructions of this particular type. Now, don't you think this particular instruction type is a bit familiar? Well, if you remember, we already have used this instruction MOVC, M when we were learning about the GPRs and the accumulator. I told you there, apart from the accumulator, the HL pair also has few different ways to specify them. And there, we use this instruction MOVC, M. So remember, whenever we use this alphabet M in any instruction, it indirectly refers to the HL pair, which is supposed to hold the address. And specifically in case of this instruction, 
the content within that address will be loaded to the specific register which has been mentioned within the instruction. As you can notice, here the value 78 was loaded within the C register. So that was all about the instruction type MOVR, M. Remember, there are seven different instructions of this type and this instruction falls under the one byte long category. Let's now focus on the next instruction type that is MOVM, R. Now from the type of the instruction itself, I believe you already have figured out what it does. Basically, we are supposed to load a memory location with the 8-bit value present within the register R. Now this is pretty evident, right? So far, all the instructions that we have been seeing, there, whatever we have after the comma is the source and anything before the comma is the destination. Now let me illustrate how this type is going to work. So the register R can be any of these registers. Now for this particular illustration, say within the accumulator register, we have got the value AF. And we would like to move that value within the memory location F820. Now for this, first we will have to load that address within the HL pair. That is, the register H will have the higher order byte and the register L will have the lower order byte. Cumulatively, they will facilitate 16 bit of storage space. Now once this is done, thereafter if we execute the instruction MOVM, A, the content within the accumulator register which is AF will be moved or to be precise copied to this particular memory location which has been pointed by the HL register pair. So this is just the reverse of MOVR, M which we have learned a few moments earlier. And this instruction type also uses the register indirect addressing. And the reason is also the same because if you notice within the instruction we haven't mentioned anything about the HL pair. But using the alphabet M we are indirectly mentioning it. So this is register indirect addressing. Now the type MOVM, R also falls into the category of one byte long instructions. And this is the type, we are yet to figure out the number of actual instructions of this type. And since we have been mentioning R in here, so clearly it is too going to have seven different types. That is MOVM, A, MOVM, B, so on and so forth, MOVM, L. Clearly, seven different instructions. So do remember, MOVM, R uses register indirect addressing and the job of it is to load a particular memory location with the 8-bit value which is inside the register R. And this instruction also falls into the one byte long category. So in this session, we covered the topics instruction type MOVR, M and the instruction type MOVM, R. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to learn about two more instruction types. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.